Like you need one of the ladies, you know, to understand the story. Black cherry is a native tree, and there is a native pest that gets on prairies that a lot of people go kind of bonkers over. It. Um, the tent caterpillar. The e eastern tent caterpillar prefers cherries and apples, and they will often go on the black cherry. And the, but the black cherry and the, the, the eastern tent caterpillar have co-evolved, and the cherry has a way that sort of a sort of way of defending itself. Um, there's a species. Well, let's see. The, the moth from the tent caterpillar lays her eggs out on the tips of the twigs and makes a little ring of eggs around the twig. And the eggs hatch as soon as the leaves start to come out of the branches. And because the caterpillars can start eating as soon as the leaves are available, and it's to their advantage to be able to do that. But the tree attracts a predator to eat the caterpillars that are eating the leaves. And what it does, it secretes nectar at the base of the leaves. And what I want you to look for is right at the stem end, look for little brown or dark red dots, either on the stem itself or right on the edge of the leaf down at the base. See those? Let me see. See these two little dots? Those are nectar glands. So the leaf, the leaf secretes nectar. There we go. Yep. Oh, the leaf secretes yeah, nectar to attract an ant that eats the nectar, but it also eats the caterpillar. So the, it's kind of a built-in way of, of, of protecting itself. And the really coolest thing about it is that the caterpillars keep growing, and when the caterpillars get too large, the ants can't eat them anymore. And at that point in the cycle, the leaf stops secreting nectar. Because it's not going to help itself. It's not working up for days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that wild? <laughs> There's so many stories like that, so complicated. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.